So, you know, there are a few complementary technologies we use to drive language processing, and natural language processing is a great um, example of one. Well, fundamentally, what you're doing is using a machine to understand uh, language through repetitive examples. So every time I say a word, I mean something, and I do it 100 times or I do it 1,000 times. Now the machine can learn that when I say X, I mean Y. That's a very simple example. And NLP is a technology that is widely used across the industry. and works really well when you have large sets of documents. You have a lot of data to be able to learn from. In contrast, computational linguistics, which is another science in the world of artificial intelligence, is about deconstructing language. It's about understanding word and syntax and the composition and so you can, when you decompose it, you can understand what the components really mean and what the sentence actually means. So they're two very complementary technologies. Computational linguistics works really well when you don't have large data sandboxes, when you have a smaller size of documents and you still have to derive insights from it. And so we use both technologies together. We machine learn off of them and then we collectively use that to drive benefits for our clients. Let me give you an example in commercial lending. Think about a portfolio of 5,000 small and medium business companies that you're lending to. And what you need to do is really understand the financial statements of all of these companies and calculate your risk associated with that on the average. Traditionally, this work is done by reading all those documents, understanding the financial numbers within them, and then averaging out a score. When you use computational linguistics, you now have the ability to read 5,000 balance sheets, it could be in three different languages, two different accounting formats, and then dynamically pull all the information out, and then put it and extract it into a, into a structured database. And now you have the ability to create scores, average them out, and be able to represent that. Really what that does at the end of the process is dynamically it manages those banks to manage the risk down, to be able to be more responsive to external events, and really be much more profitable in the long run. Let me give you an example of how we use computational linguistics in contract reconciliation. We look at contracts for a division, a business unit, a distribution center. We'll go back and pull in six months or 12 months worth of contracts that have been signed. These are PDF documents from which we will extract a set of data variables and the way they're expressed. So think about the word shipping. We'll go look at shipping rate everywhere in the document. We'll look at the expression of the rate and we'll pull it out. And that goes into a structured database. Equally, we can go back and pull in all of the invoices that have come in from the vendors that are represented on, that, on, those, on those contracts. And then again, we'll pull in the shipping rate from every single invoice that's come through and put it exactly in the same manner into the structured document uh, database. So now you've got a structured database that actually has both sets of information and you can quickly see how you're able to reconcile that. And by reconciling, understand the overbilling that has happened and thus actually have an actionable path to using the data to drive business results by actually recovering that. And that's a fantastic example of how we use computational linguistics in that world. Let me give you an example of how we use computational linguistics in wealth management. We're able to read large custodial documents and be able to understand all of the trades, all of the exchanges, all of the assets and the asset types that are represented on there. We're able to extract all of that information automatically out of those custodial documents. So if you're an institutional manager, you're able to pull all that information out, put it into a structured document, and now of course you can create the graphs, the pie charts, all of the stuff that you and I are used to looking at to be able to understand performance. And the ability to deliver that performance report is really critical to the value proposition of our clients, for them to be able to sell, to, to deliver to their clients. And we allow them to do it much faster, much more accurately, and a much more sophisticated fashion. Bottom line, computational linguistics really helps us light up dark data. And it's particularly applicable when you don't have large sample sizes, which is often the case in business applications.